everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with a ton of the new Barbie fashionistas. There's even more behind the ones you are currently seeing. I want to thank Mattel for sending these to me for free to open up with you guys today. So we have three over here. Oh goodness, right there. And then behind these two guys, we have the new Barbie in the wheelchair, and then we have four girls back there. So let's start opening all of these up. Here is a look at the back of the box. Now there are a bunch that we can collect, and we don't have all of them here today. Now we can see there's two different variations of the Barbie with the wheelchair. And I'm going to try to see, I don't think we don't have him or her or this one or this one. Or this one. I think we have everybody else. I'm not sure. We'll have to figure it out as we go along. But that's what the back of the box looks like for these. I think we're going to start off with our Barbie with the wheelchair. So we do get this wheelchair ramp, which is so cool. You can kind of just place this. Like if you have a, uh, a dream house, go ahead and put this by the dream house. If you have a car, you can go ahead and put this in a car. This will... This can be placed pretty much everywhere so that your Barbie can get around, obviously. So the wheels work very nicely. I realize you can't see her face right now, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get to a little preview in just a second. But anyway, so here uh, is the wheelchair itself. It's this blue wheelchair. Are they both? Yeah, they're both blue on both variations. It says Barbie in the back, and then there's this little holder that'll help hold your Barbie in place. Now, I could clip the bar the doll out, but I like how she's like, they have uh, her rubber band <laughs> into the wheelchair, and I think it's nice, and the seat there is actually textured to look really nice as well. But I love this. I love this wheelchair. It's pretty cool, and all the wheels are working great, except for this front one. I don't think it's... I don't think this there. Wait, maybe if we do this. This front one isn't working as much, but the rest of them are working. Oh, wait, there we go. It's working now. I don't know what's going on anyway. So here's our Barbie. She's wearing these really nice, well, she has just some plain white sneakers on, and she's wearing some jeans with this striped top. I actually really like her outfit. And she has some sunglasses. She also has these really awesome, like, pigtail bun things going on here. I love it. I love that hairstyle. And by the way, here is the face sculpt. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I was going to clip her out, but I like the way she's just, just sitting in there and she's uh, connected in there. So like her feet are connected to this bottom part here. Now she does also have a watch and she's very articulated. So we have articulation in the our, uh, wrists as well as the whatever shoulders. <laughs> I actually don't know. She can bend at the knees, obviously. She can bend the ankles, and of course she can sit down and do all that fun jazz. So anyway, I don't know why she can't bend her arm. There we go. I think we had it wrong there. So she can bend her at the elbow as well. So anyway, that's our Barbie there. We're going to kind of scoot her back there. I love it. Oh, wait. Are these like brakes? That's probably why the wheel's not working. Wait, no, no, no. You can break the wheelchair. So you can use those as the brakes or you can kind of let it, let it ride. <laughs> I love that detail. All right, moving on to our individual dolls. We have my probably favorite just because I remember seeing her at Toy Fair and I just, I was over the moon for her hair. I love it. Each one of these little bits is a braid and it's so beautiful and this is all braids and it just like... <laughs> I love the feel of it. It's so awesome. Oh, let me put that ramp back here. But I love her hair so much. And it is two colors. Um, you have like kind of like a blonde and then a brown. It's just so awesome. And then of course we have her face there. And let me see if I, I can get it to focus a little bit better. There we go. She is just perfect. I love her, her color of lipstick she's wearing as well. She's definitely one of my favorites. For this for this wave of fashionistas and her shirt says girl power and it has like a motocross i think thing going on and then she has this really nice red skirt with this ruffle and then she's wearing this gold bracelet now with these dolls they are just articulated the head the arms and they can move the legs there's no like knee or elbow or anything going on there she's also wearing some purple boots with roses on them I don't know if you guys can tell that there's roses on them. It looks a little washed out on the camera, but she's so cool. I really, really like her. I love her hair. I could just play with it for days. It's just so cool. 
And I mean, if you really wanted to, you could take the time and just take all of these braids out, but I would never do that because I love it. Actually, I'd be very curious. I kind of want to buy another one of these and like take the braids out of one, but that would take so long. <laughs> I think it would anyway. All right, let's move on to the next doll we have here. Here. Of course, and we have all different body types and uh, heights and all that stuff like we usually do. So this is this one's hairstyle. I like how it's shaved here at the bottom and then for the, the hair at the top, it is like a black and then it has some brown highlights in it. And then her shirt says good vibes only with this purple camo and she's just wearing some blue shorts. Obviously you can uh, go ahead and take, like mix and match all the clothes and everything. She's wearing a white wrist watch as well. And she has some yellow shoes. And again, she's the same thing, arms, legs, and head. And then this is her face sculpt. Super cool. I love it. Like you can just see the difference in their faces. Look at that. Anyway, let's scooch back there and scoot you back there. And you can see like, I think, I wonder, I think they're the same height or whatever. Anyway, this is our next one. <laughs> this hair is a little crazy for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. But we have, oh, of course, we have the shaved head here, but it also is like really shaved here to make a nice little pattern. Plus she has this awesome, just green mohawk thing going on. It's crazy. And <laughs> this is what her face looks like, by the way. And then we have this like fancy, interesting overall get up. I don't know what this is. Cause it's like, this is a really nice like blouse kind of thing with just some overalls thrown over top of it, which is kind of cool. And the overalls have polka dots on them. And then she's wearing these boots. Really cool. I like the style. And then uh, she has this silver bracelet. Makes it a little difficult for her to sit down when she's wearing overalls. Cause it kind of pulls on the overall strings. <laughs> Right, let's see if I can get her to sit down. Oh, she's just It's just pulling on these and I'm worried that it's going to be too much. I don't know. Maybe I'll have her stand up. Is she going to? She not. She can lay down. <laughs> I'm going to have her kind of sit. She'll just have to be propped up against somebody else. Okay. Next up we have this gal. She is wearing, oh, she's, she's wearing a rainbow shirt. She has this awesome red hair. This is a really pretty, pretty color for hair and there's something in it. I think that's a piece of tape. That is my bad. <laughs> All right, now I have the piece of tape stuck to my hand. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, she has her sunglasses here, which we can clip off and she can remove or put somewhere else, but I decided to leave them on because I like them attached to the top of her head. Plus I don't want to lose them. Then here is her face sculpt. I think she looks really awesome. You can clearly see some eyeliner on there. She has some green eyes. She's really pretty. And then we have the top. Like I said, this is two pieces. Whoops. <laughs> Her thing came on Velcro there for a second. But it is kind of like, more so like a crop top, I think. Well, maybe not quite, but it's close. And then she has this high-waisted skirt. And she has these cute red translucent heels. She is super awesome. I like her. I like her outfit. It's casual and dressy and it's just so much. Then... Let's actually move on to one of the guys here. We have this dude here. His hair is not real hair. It's just the sculpted hair in the braids. It's braided. And this is what his face looks like. And then he has this number four Los Angeles shirt on and it has like netting for sleeves, which is really cool. I love seeing the different kind of textures and whatnot for clothes. And then he's just wearing some jeans with some white sneakers super cool and then let's see you can go over here we have another dude let's bring him in this I like to think is just the classic Ken <laughs> so he has this sculpted hair which I think this was a missed opportunity for them to have real hair on this Ken doll or this this boy doll um, because I don't know it's just regular hair yeah it has a nice little swoop and it's textured and really nice but I don't know I just think with a plain style like this with nothing special like I understood the braids because they didn't want to braid but they could have even maybe braided that individually I mean look at what they did with the girls hair they could have probably did that with the dudes hair so I don't know but this is what his face sculpt looks like 
And then he has this awesome blue shirt. I love this because it's, you know, it's white here at the top and then it goes down into a darker blue. And then he just has some white shorts on. He kind of reminds me of like a country club Ken. <laughs> and then he's wearing, like, he looks like he's going to go golfing maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, he is wearing some orange shoes as well. All right, Ken. I'm just calling him Ken because he's like a classic Ken. We have this gal. I love her dress. Okay, so we have just purple hair. This is all just purple, I think. Oh, there's a little piece of plastic still in there. I have to get that. I think it's two different colors. I think there's a light purple and a dark purple, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that's what it looks like. And she has these glasses up at the top. But again, I left them on because I like having them attached to the top of the head so I don't lose them. <laughs> anyway, this is what her face looks like. She seems... She, I was gonna say she, oh no, 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 we had, wait, yes, no, oh, I was like, she's smiling, but then I realized they're all smiling except for her, I mean, she's smiling, but she's not showing teeth, is what I mean, so she's the one we've seen so far, no, she's, <laughs> she's the only one so far we've seen smiling without teeth, anyway, <laughs> this is what she looks like, and then she has her beautiful romper, I think this is, yeah, it's a romper, and it's like the shiny sparkly material. I love it, it has roses on it, it's just amazing. And then she has these black heel, flat, not flats, heels on. <laughs> anyway, let's set her here. While we look at, oh we do have her. I thought we didn't have her, I really like her outfit. She's very like tropical vibes, like this, this I love. She actually might be my favorite, just, well no, cause I love the, her hair back there, but I just love her, stuff okay we'll get we'll get to it so she has this cute little headband which is adorable it's a coral color and I love her hair it's this like, dirty blonde color kind of has some brown highlights in it and then she has this really pretty dress I love the pattern on this dress that's why I'm saying it's my favorite because you know it has that and then like lemon slices I think and some flowers and then she has these shoes on like this Reminds me of going on a tropical adventure and um, obviously that's where I want to be right now on a beach wearing this somewhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, by the way, here's her face sculpt. She has dimples. You see her dimples. She looks adorable. I don't think anybody else had them. I could be wrong. I can be wrong sometimes. Anyway, I love her. She's adorable. We have one last one, you guys, and this is kind of like, I looked at her and I was like, this gives me vibes of like a girl like a city girl who needs to go to the country for something and this is what she thinks is country attire if that makes sense <laughs> like like I've seen movies like it before basically uh, but she's wearing like these cowgirl boots which are really cool I like them they're really pretty and detailed but then she has like this dress on but has like the country vibes like just just she's just got farm vibes to her but at the same time she's like very upscale does that make sense? Is her earring coming out? I think I need to push that again. Um, but anyway, she's wearing this with the cute little floral pattern and the stripes. And this is just a dress. And then she has some earrings in there. And she just has regular Barbie blonde hair. Nothing too fancy. And this is her face sculpt. Out of all of these Barbie fashionistas that we opened up today, leave me a comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite. I'm having such a hard time deciding between this, I'm going to call her the tropical girl or the braid girl back here. Those are my two favorites. I'm allowed to pick two, right? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.